Hello there chumps and welcome to the fourth episode of Gothic Dark Mysteries Brought to you by Hipster Retro Gaming Oh yeah <sighs> Hell of an intro Okay guys um, I've uh, made my uh, video display to to work better So now, now you can see what actually I'm talking with these guys and uh, I said in the last episode that I'm not gonna make this uh, mission with water carrier But I remember this guy Horatio Which will give you some strength if you talk the right way with him Okay, so What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that I don't fight anymore except to defend myself I killed a guy once And that was once too many That's why they chucked me in this goddamn colony it was justice. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. Mm. Yeah. Why did you join this camp? I'll tell you. My only option was to join those cyclones, and I didn't want to let those gurus of theirs mess about with my brain. In the old camp, I'd have had too much trouble with the guards. But the mercenaries and rogues do have some respect. They're afraid of you? Maybe. Anyway, I found peace here. And you should try the same. Mm -hmm. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? So to teach those bastards who talk to me properly? Uh, this is not the correct answer, I think. Because this is what he did in that bar fight. So I I, I always like this thing in Gothic because they everything mixes together, you know? There are not so many unnecessary dialogues. So I will tell him uh, self-defense. Self-defense? That takes speed, not strength. Do you think cracking skulls is better than finding peace? Good question. I'll think about it. I've been thinking the whole thing over. Yo. And? Have you thought of anything better? What? No. I thought so. So, actually, this this never happened. I don't I've know. I've been thinking the whole thing over. And? Have you thought of anything better? No. I thought so. Maybe I should do some some missions for some other guys. That was uh, strange. Yeah, that was strange. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna look on the forums and see what's up with Horatio and why. Okay, so... Left. You can skip this part because I'm only going to give those guys some uh, water. Spend most of my time out here just picking rice. That's what let me get so old. We yeah, I think I've done this mission. So, yeah, lefty. Hey, you! Well done! You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. Mm, you know what I'm gonna do? The next time I'm gonna come here... <clears throat> I wanna do this mission again for uh, Lefty, so... Do you intend to go through this gate? Do yes. you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sec loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. Okay. Watch your back. This is quite interesting, because he's giving you like a tutorial about the camp, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, we've got this guy here with the lurker. I'm gonna do some missions around here. 
I really like them and I really like that mission where you need to share weed because uh, you get to know all the people in the camp by sharing weed and that's pretty important because I want to have booked all my uh, all the teachers and all the traders in this camp so that's what I'm gonna do this episode canvassing on the new camp are you looking for something I'm looking for leaks in the dam I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I need to look like, like a digger to get into this tavern. Or pay a fee. And I would like to get that free armor. And in fact, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, well, I think the best thing will be to get that armor, but also I want to do that Bolros quest and I think I have everything here besides beer. I can't remember how many beers that guy wants. I know he wants uh, two grapes, some frit cheese, five breads, let's say. Uh, three snaps and five, five or eight beers. So yeah, but the beers I'm gonna take from the bar and yeah, that's pretty complicated. I just wanna do, do that quest because I've never done the quest with Bolro's weapon. Although I know that uh, after you deliver the stuff to Bolro, he's not gonna give you everything. Anything, sorry. He's not gonna give you anything, so... Yeah, you can do it only for 200 XP, which is not bad, it's not quite bad. Now that I'm, I'm using the bow, I'd like to get on the high grounds. Yeah, to get on the high grounds and attack guys like this okay what? no <laughs> oh my god come on dude don't kill me Dudes, help! Help! <laughs> okay, okay, that was close. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that stupid thing again. Uh, I know that I can save and load all the time, but I have did that when I was... Uh, yeah, when, when I first played the game. But now I'm just gonna try to survive as much as I can. Okay, how this... Oh, you killed him? Yeah, I've lost a lot of experience. Thanks to you. Guys. Ah, a visitor. Don't make any trouble here, or else you'll be for it.
I want to go into the mine. I can hardly believe you'll manage that. But just speak to Okio. I just want to have a look around here. Then mind you don't step on anybody's feet. I'd better be going. I hope we understand each other. Yeah, I really like the way this armor looks like. <clears throat> okay, let's take this way. Mercenary. So I have no importance. Ah, uh, here is... Yeah, this is the guy that is giving you a free armor. But now he's smoking. Come on, dude. Who are you? I'm the best mining engineer this damn colony has ever seen, my boy. I make sure half our boys don't go getting themselves killed by fallen rocks just because they're too stupid to scrape the right places. Mm -hmm. I'd like to join you as a scraper. Oh, yeah? Well, just don't think you're going to get anything much out of it. There's three portions of rice a day. Any extra, you'll have to see to yourself. Do you know why we're doing this? We're doing this job so one day we can all walk out of here to freedom. Well, that means all the ores to be handed in. Then it goes on the big ore mound. And once a month, everybody who's been working here gets 50 ore to get stoned on. That's the most oh, yeah. important things you ought to know. Do you at least have any experience on the job? Yes. Good. Then you know what to watch out for. Here's your protective clothing. You'll have Ooh. to find your own pickaxe. Enjoy yourself. How much ore have you collected? The mages say that we won't need much more. Go to the new camp and have a look at the mound. Okay. So now I can dress. Yeah, I'm minor. Yeah. I still like this clothing. I mean, it's, it's nice. Uh, you know what I hate about this first clothing? Because you see that, that part there? Uh, on your feet, when you have a, a line of that, that you can see your skin. Man, I hate that. I absolutely hate that. I mean, whenever I dress myself, I never leave that portion like to, 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 for my skin to be exposed to the cold. Oh god. <clears throat> Let's see now, I've got 15 weapon protection and dragon fire 5. Okay, I don't think there's anybody here that can help me with anything. Let's see these guys. Mercenary, mercenary. What are you hanging about here for? I'll just tell you one thing. Keep your hands off the door. I'd best be going. I hope we understand each other. Yes, we do. Okay. Let's talk about Boloro's weapon. I don't know exactly where that is, but it might be there, yeah. I haven't seen ev any new content in this uh, episode yet, and I don't think there is much. The new camp seems quite the same. But well, you know, you can have everything. And uh, hey, you, what's up? And as I've told you, I'm going to level up a little and then explore and see the other camps that uh, Dark Mysteries have to offer. Hi, you're walking about here as if you were searching for something. Really? Hmm. Maybe you're right. Why? Great. Ask me. Maybe I can help you. What did you have in mind? What do you need? What about a good sword, thick armor, or access to the mine? Ah, oh, no, that's nothing. I can give you something that'll make your eyes pop out of their sockets. I can give you a weapon that will defeat any foe. You only need Thanks. to do me a small favor, then it'll be yours. What do you say? 
Hmm. I must have it. What will I have to do? So Bolro told me about the um, this mission, on which I have to give him a, to bring him five apples, two bottles of rice snaps, five bottles of beer, as I said before, three loaves of bread, two pieces of cheese, and two branches of grapes. Grapes are the hardest thing to get, but since I play Dark Mysteries, I've got these things since the start. But I don't have five beers, and I cannot finish the. I couldn't. Okay then. Five. All right. So I can't finish this uh, this thing right now. Although I can find the beer here. Hey you. You've been lucky there. But yeah, people are killing you if you do that stuff. Hey you. Hey. Lucky for you. But I okay, will enjoy for polishing me. your mug. <laughs> so to do this mission, this quest, I need to. Yeah, I need to come here before, before uh, that chapter when the mine is attacked, because otherwise Bolro is going to be dead. But although it's not an important mission and it doesn't give you anything, uh, it gives you actually. 200 XP. Yeah, so I don't have um Actually, I was hoping to find some new content around here. Oh my god, there where the lurker is, there is kind of a Stonehenge thing. I've never seen it. Yeah, but other than that, uh, there is not, not too much new content. In, in fact, there is not new content, content at all. Which bothers me a little, because this is the first episode without any. But you know what? I've got an armor. <laughs> so who gives a shift now? Okay, these guys are going for a to sleep. It's nine o'clock in the evening, so yeah. Or this guy could learn me something if I would join them, but... I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. Of course. It'll cost you, though. I want 30 ore. Well, this is nice. It's nice that I've got this guy teaching me that. But yeah, I'm gonna start with canvassing on customers and... Uh, get into the tavern and stuff like that. And make some money around here. You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Baal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can already deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his weed for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. I fear I cannot expect any help from him. He's addicted to the spirit. That's, that's what I like. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. 
But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your tasks now. Bala Sidra will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Kora Kalam. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Kor Kalam and Baal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. Nice. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people. But only give one stalk to each person. Uh, one more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you, or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. Okay. Uh, what I like about this mission is uh, also the fact... The fact... Do you want out any? It's also that I like uh, the way that uh, the new camp gets around with the. Do you want out? With the swamp camp, you know. I mean, they're f they are not friends, but when it's about weed, they like it, you know. <laughs> You're very so it's a nice it's a nice thing to see Shh. that. Hey, you. Who? Me? Me? Exactly. Come over here. So it's quite nice to see that uh, they don't like each other, but they need each other, you know? Wedge. Ah, you know, I don't quite like that guy. Do you know anything about the smugglers? Maybe I know. Why do you care? Their camp is hidden. Ask mercenaries. They know well. They know them well. That's interesting, and I've asked him because uh, I have some. It's it's part of the how do you call it? Part of the mod, yeah. I also would like to learn acrobatics as soon as possible, so I'm gonna.